Hello Retro Gamers! Welcome to RetroPint. I'm going to show you how to put library images onto your analog pocket for the new consoles made available by the adapter set. So that's the TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine, the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and the Atari Lynx. Let me show you my desktop. Okay, here are all of the links we're going to visit today. All of the information that I'm sharing today, I found on this Reddit post. So I encourage you guys to go to this post and give this guy some love because he's done all of the hard work and there's even some games missing from the, from the images and people are providing him with the information and he's updating. So the val the libraries here will get updated as they finish it up. So you can visit again in the future and get the latest version if uh, the games you have are missing. But all of the ones that I've tried so far are there, which is really good. So let's just go through this process. All we do is download the set of images that we want and you unzip them into the correct location on the memory card for your pocket. So let's do it. I have my memory card already in my USB drive ready to go. So let's plug it in. And there it is. It appears as the H drive on my computer. As you can see here, this is just the uh, the root folder of my memory card on my pocket. I'm going to download the box art images into these folders and we'll just do it together right now. So here is the Reddit post. This is the user. Yeah, come here and, uh, and you know, tell him you appreciate his work because this is a lot of work doing this stuff. So here are the three uh, links that he uh, that he put on his post to his GitHub. So the first one we'll do is the Atari links. So you come to this link, you download the zip file of the images you're interested in the box art, the snapshots, which I believe is just a picture of the game at some point, or the title screen. I'm a fan of the box art, so I'm going to download that one. I'll put it in the links folder right here save it already finished open up the links folder so there's the box art file that i just downloaded let's extract it all right there we go don't mind the squeaking chair so this is what was inside of the box art to zip file and in here you'll see a links folder Inside the links folder is a whole bunch of bin files. These are the images in the format that the analog pocket can read for the library. So what we want to do is we go to the system library images folder on the memory card. This is my pocket memory card over here. You can see my other consoles are here. And you take this links folder and you copy it and you paste it onto the memory card right here, system library images. So when it's done, you'll see in the images folder, you have the name of the console. Inside there are the bin files directly. Okay, let's do this for the other two consoles. And then we'll go test. So next it's Turbo Graphics slash PC Engine, PCE for PC Engine. Again, I am a fan of the box art. Demographics, the files have the same name. Just to reduce confusion, I will remove the duplicate name here. Just make it the original name. There it is. Extract it again to this exact same spot. There it is. Inside you find PCE. Again, all the bin files are inside. And to re reiterate once again, this is my memory card in the system library images folder. Take the PCE folder, copy and paste. Okay. 
last one, Neo Geo Pocket Color. On this one, you get the option of the box arts in different uh, regions. That's really cool. So I will take the box art US library images. Okay. Extract it right here. Open the box art folder. There's the NGP. And we'll just take a look just to be sure. This one. This is what we want. Copy. Paste. Now, if you want to just confirm on your memory card what it looks like, it's in system library images. We just added links and inside are the bin files, PCE inside are a bunch of bin files, NGP inside are a bunch of bin files. Now that we're finished, I will eject my memory card. Let's put the memory card back in the pocket. Okay, I'm going to switch to uh, pocket output so I can show you the test. All right, let's run a test. We'll try Turbo Graphics first. We're going to put Splatterhouse in see if we can see the box art. Okay. So we already have a game in there. And there it is. Look at that. Box art. Beautiful. Let's try another game. Let's try Bomberman 94, a PC Engine game. There it is, perfect. Now we'll try a couple of links games. That looks really nice. I'm going to try and do it without undocking. Rebellious, I know. We're going to do uh, Road Blasters first. Error. Because I didn't put it in right. That's okay. See what I get when I try not to. I try not to un take the console off. Just put it back. Be better. There it is. Road blasters. One more. One more for fun. Ninja Gaiden. And there it is. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any Neo Geo Pocket Color games to try. This is what I have. So hopefully uh, someone else can maybe put in a comment if it works for them. I'm assuming they do because the other two work perfectly. But you never know. There could be issues. So hopefully this is going to help someone. Uh, otherwise, um, you know, leave a comment if there's any issues. And again, go visit that Reddit page. Man, those guys are doing some great work there. Thank you very, very much for your time. We'll see you next time.